with you guys, it's Jack, and welcome back to another video. So my hair is a mess, so enjoy it in this video. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 25,000, and if we could hit that by the end of the year, that would be awesome. Also, if you enjoy Q&As, because this is what this video is, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Let's see if we can smash 327 likes. So I have this new setup. I don't know if you noticed or not. Probably did, because we've moved. So this is the other part of my room. Um, I think I'm going to film from like here from now on, because I've got... My light box, which has no batteries yet. I've got one of my favorite teddy bears, which was given to me from my Italian best friend. And I love it so much. And it's like a little, it's a freaking holder. Like you could store whatever you wanted to in this. So shout out to Monica for getting me this cute ass teddy because I love him. And then there's a candle, which is dead. So yeah, I'll probably light the candle, make it look aesthetic in the next video. So it's day four of my seven day streak and I think I'm doing all right. It's already nearly nine o'clock. So I keep filming too late. That's why the videos are up so late, but I hope you enjoy this little Q and A. So if you don't follow me on social media, make sure you do. The links are in the description down below for my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, all that jazz. So make sure you follow me to keep updated on my life. But now it's time to answer some questions. So yeah, let's go. So I asked you guys to send me them on Snapchat and Instagram. So I'm gonna check Snapchat first. So Ruby asked, how much would it mean to meet your idol? So today I got some of the biggest news I've ever gotten in my life and that may seem dramatic to some of you, but to me it is one of the biggest parts of the day. I found out that in like one week, I'm gonna be meeting Miles McKenna, also known as Miles Chronicles on YouTube. I've been watching him for like four or five years. So the fact that I get to meet him and just kind of have a chat and a hug and a picture, it's gonna be so cool. So that's gonna mean the world to me. So roll on Saturday, cause I'm so hyped for that. Oh my God. Stephanie asked, who's your favorite singer? And my favorite singer is Camila Cabello. I stand Camila so much. So Camila, if you ever watch any of my videos, I love you, keep it going. Abby asked if you could have any job, what would it be? And it would be a director and a videographer because I love making films and directing them and stuff like that. So yeah, probably photographer, videographer or director because they all just kind of fit into each other. Holly asked if you had a goal in life, what would it be and why? My main goal in life is just to make people happy. I think that's about it. I just like making people happy and YouTube helps me do that. So yeah, this is my goal. I'm kind of living my goal. <laughs> Georgie asked, how has your day been? My day has been really good, thank you. I'm still working my ass off with this project, but it should be announced V soon, so stay put for that. This question comes from my friend Charlie, and he said smash or pass, so smash Charlie. Ollie asked if you could spend one day with a famous person, who would it be and why? I would spend one day with Lauren Hareggy because she's just so wise and like amazing, and like, she just stands for what she believes in, and she's just so amazingly well spoken and so like even though she has such a big social media platform like she could you know talk about products or she could you know have all this shit in the world that she wanted but she uses her platform for speaking up and making a stance and changing things in the world and that's amazing so yeah shout out to Lauren Hareggy for being a badass bitch and I just love her so yeah I'm such an awkward person. Maya asked, who is my favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber, I have so many. This is so difficult for me to choose. If there's comedy, it's either Shane Dawson or Liza Koshy, because Liza Koshy's puns are amazing, but Shane is just so relatable. If it's short movies, it's definitely Mikey Murphy, um, just because his short movies are absolutely amazing. And if it was LGBT, it would be Miles McKenna or Ty Turner, probably, or Chase Frost. I don't know, there's so many to choose from, there, but there's some of my favorites, so there you go. Trust me to not charge my phone before this video. So now I have like 5% and I have to get through all of these. So yeah. I'm only gonna take one or two off Instagram. So here we go. Rysor says, if you could choose your life, would you change your experiences or would you keep it the same? I'd keep it the same because everything happens for a reason and we go through different things to experience different emotions and different feelings and to kind of grow as a person. So if I hadn't gone through everything that I have gone through, I wouldn't be the person I am today or I could be a totally big asshole, even though I'm quite a dickhead. It's just everything happens for a reason. I, I believe in that completely and utterly because so much has happened in my life. And I look back that when I think, when I look back and think, oh my God, like if this slight thing was tweaked, I wouldn't have met this person or I wouldn't have done this on YouTube. And it's just, you know, sh shit happens and you shouldn't change anything. You shouldn't want to change anything because if you do change something, it's, it's not gonna work out in your favor. That's, that's how I personally feel. So this question is from Fangirl with me and they asked, if given the chance, would you have been born a cis male or would you still want to have been born transgender? I get this question a lot because it's just one of those typical questions that you get, but it's kind of like a 50-50 question because like obviously I would have preferred to have been born male because it would have made things so much easier. But if I hadn't have been born biologically female and came out as trans or gone to the LGBT groups to help, you know, deal with being trans and come to the acceptance of being trans, then I wouldn't have met all the amazing people that I have in my life today. So 
and I wouldn't probably have such a strong bond with my family after going through all this stuff. You know, like I said, things happen for a reason and we get put on this earth to do certain stuff and to kind of, you know, yeah, I'm not gonna make a metaphor. I don't know where I'm going with this. But a little simple answer to that question is I'm just glad to be who I am today. And last question comes from Neve Massey and she asks, what's one thing you wish you could tell your younger self? I wish I could tell that little dweeb of a boy that it was gonna be okay, chill out, you're gonna go through a really rough patch, but you're gonna get through it. And life isn't as easy as people make it out in the books, as in you're gonna find somebody, you're gonna get married, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. Shit happens in life and you need to be prepared for it because when you go through it, you're gonna be a stronger person. You're gonna be the person that you'll live your life to be, but you won't be as weak, you won't be as fragile. You'll learn new things, you'll educate yourself. Just don't take life too seriously because if you take life too seriously, you're gonna miss out on the fun. So don't stress. Be calm, you're gonna have a rough patch, but you're gonna get through it. We're finny though. So that's all the questions for this video, guys. Um, I obviously didn't have a video idea, so that's why we did a Q&A. Like I said at the beginning, if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let's see if we can get that 327 likes. I think that was the number, I'm not sure. And if you enjoy my content and wanna see more, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be notified when I post a video. But so much is gonna change so soon, guys, and I'm so excited, and it's all for the better, I promise. But yeah, a lot of things are changing in my life, and I'm really happy about it, so stay tuned for that. And as usual, I love you all so much, and I hope you had a trans-tastic day, or a cis-tastic day, or a you-tastic day. And I'll see all you beautiful people very, very, very soon. Bye!